Welcome back, Tigers. This is the next video in our Einstein Conversation Insight series, where we're taking a deep dive into how custom insights are configured and how automatic insights work with your team's video calls. We've spent some time working with the product and we want to share what we've learned, including best practices, gotchas, and how to set up those custom insights. Let's help your managers get clear, actionable insights into the conversations your team is having with prospects and customers. All right, here we are in Salesforce and we're gonna go into setup. We're gonna go to call insights. And here's where you can see two different tabs. We have configurable and automatic insights. Your automatic insights are configured by Salesforce. They are completely controlled on their end and we can't make any modifications to them from here. Their names have to be this and then whether or not you have a sales or service cloud license is gonna determine which insight types are automatically configured for your org. Now we also have configurable insights and these are the ones that you can configure yourself. Now there's different types of insights you can configure. So if we click configure insight, we can see we only have access to keyword insights. Now keep in mind our entire video series is for the non-paid Einstein Conversation Insights users. So there are a lot more features that are in the paid product. We're just going over the ones that are included in your enterprise subscription for 10 users. And they're also included in unlimited and performance edition. We're going to select keyword insight and then we'll select our language and then you'll click next. And then here's where you choose competitor product or custom insight. Now competitor, you'll want to choose if you want to track the specific names of competitors that people are mentioning within a video call. So we'll set up a competitor list here. And here's where you say, I want it to know when anyone says any of these competitors, and then you can store this in the sales or service category. So you may have certain insights that you only want to apply to sales video calls versus service video calls. And this will allow you to make that distinction. And then you can put in here all of the competitors that your company has. Now there's a specific list of competitors for us. So we're going to put in Hawk SAM. We are pretending that we are a marketing agency offering marketing services to different companies. So I'll type in the keyword and then I'll click enter. Now you can only include 25 different keywords and then Salesforce will yell at you if you have words like and or 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 the in your keywords. So you'll just need to make sure that you don't include those. I'm going to make the status enabled and then I'll click save and apply. And then we can see that it automatically names my insight competitor mentioned. So when you choose product or competitor, Salesforce is automatically going to name it for you. You can't name it whatever you want. Now, another limitation that you have is you can only have 100 custom insights. I don't know if that's 100 active ones or 100 active plus inactive ones. So just be aware of that. And then your insights must be configured prior to your video calls happening. Now I ran some tests and my custom insights weren't working. So I opened a ticket with support and they said it was because my insight was just configured. So I did some tests on the length of time that it takes for the custom insight to work on your video calls because support couldn't tell me an exact number and I tested at four hours and it didn't work. And then I tested again at like 17 hours and it did work. So it looks like it's more than 12, less than 24 for our particular org. I don't know if that differs, maybe depending on if it's during the week, this is on the weekend when I did this testing. Now we're gonna set up a custom insight so you can see how that works. And this is going to be ROI questions. This is going to be said by anybody. We'll put this in sales and this is going to track when prospects ask about return on investment outcomes or measurable impact. Now there's a specific way you have to enter these insights. You can't use certain words. So if we were to write, how do you track results and try to save this, it's going to yell at us and say, remove any articles, conjunctions, and pronouns. So instead of saying that, we're going to say track results, and then we'll be able to save that. 
We'll go back into ROI questions and we'll add in some more. Say measure of success, ROI, and increased revenue. We'll make that status enabled. We'll click save and apply. Now there's another limitation that I can't figure out. I don't know how to delete an insight. I can't see how to do that from the front end of Salesforce here or from the back end, meaning from the API. I can't figure out which object is actually holding these insights to be able to delete this record. We'll probably have to open up a ticket with Salesforce to find that out because we don't want to have a whole bunch of custom insights contributing to our limit if we want them actually deleted because we made a mistake when setting them up. Now we've done a lot of testing on this, so we want to show you how some of these insights do work. I'm going to go over to our home tab. I'm going to go to our video calls list. I'm going to go to all video calls. And then we have three different calls set up where you can see the differences between which insights were tracked because it was a certain length of time after I set up the custom insight. This one was not recorded, this one was. So you have to make sure you record your actual video calls or else no insights are gonna come in whatsoever. This first video call was before I had set up some insights over here for objection authority and objection budget. Now what I found is that these automatic insights for objection budget and authority aren't working for me. I've opened a ticket with Salesforce on this because in the transcript you can see I am mentioning that I need to get approval, I need management, I'm not the decision maker. I'm saying all these words right in the transcript in the video and it's not triggering the automatic insights. So when you find that that happens, you're going to need to create a custom insight to capture that. The only automatic insights that I've seen work consistently are next steps. I've seen a couple of challenges, not many. Longest monologue and longest cu customer story and question all consistently work well, but I haven't seen trending or any of the objections come into any of my insights for any of my video calls, even though I'm saying some of these exact words. Like I literally said timing isn't right. I'm talking about price, I'm talking about budget, using the word budget over and over again. We went ahead and configured objection, no authority, and we configured the keywords need approval, needs approval, decision maker, and leadership buy-in. And then for objection budget, budgeting tip over budget, high investment budgeting tips so that we can see if these are gonna work for us. Now I configured those two custom insights and then I recorded this video right afterwards and none of them got picked up. Then I waited for four hours after I created the custom insight and they still didn't get picked up. And then I recorded the same exact video again, and then they did get picked up. So this was 17 hours later, and we can see that objection, no authority, and objection budget did get picked up. So it looks like the sweet spot is somewhere in there. So just be aware that you're really going to need to get feedback from your sales team as to when certain insights were not triggered or when they want custom insights to be configured. This is probably going to be an ongoing thing that you need to work on to constantly make this tracking better. Then you can also see that how some of these insights are named, like Google ads mentioned by anyone. I'm not sure if that's a good name for this, this is exactly how it's going to show in reporting as well. So you can see it's a little long. So just be aware, however you have your call insight named, that's exactly how it's going to show up here. And you can always go in and modify the names of your insights right from here. We'll click save and apply. Now just be aware, any existing custom insights that you change the name for will not be modified at all. We ran some testing to make sure that the data flow doesn't make any updates when it runs and it doesn't. So if you have a name change, none of your existing insights will be modified. It will only apply to any new video calls that you record in the future. So this one is a brand new video call that we have and we can see that Google ads is the name of the custom insight that was applied to this video call. We also did some further testing on the competitor mentioned in this video. So we'll scroll down here and we mentioned two different competitors during this call and they were picked up 
And then we also did some testing on product. So we mentioned the names of certain products and those were also picked up. So it looks like our custom insights are working really well and they're working consistently whenever you have those configured. So highly recommend whenever you don't see the automatic insights working that you just go ahead and create a custom one. So that's everything we wanted to show you around custom insights and automatic insights. We hope you got some helpful tips on how you can be successful with these features. That's it, that's a wrap. Don't forget to subscribe to Blue Tiger Academy so you don't miss our next video on reporting and analytics for Einstein Conversation Insights. We'll show you how to use the built-in reports in the Conversation Insights app and how to build custom reports for deeper insights into your video calls. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you'd like to see a video on a different Salesforce topic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.